welcome back to the channel i'm your host ben and ios 14 beta 2 both public beta and developer beta has been out to developers and public beta testers for about a week now we saw it introduced on the 9th of july and it came with quite a number of new features and stability improvements however it's still a bit away from being a perfect or final build version and so in this video i'm going to be talking about a possible beta 3 release date and also just a general overview of what we expect when it's released so if it's your first time watching on this particular channel though make sure you hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the latest tech content that we have for you so let's start off with a possible release date for ios 14 beta 3 so this is my iphone 6s here running ios 14 and if we go to the app library and open the calendar we know that for a fact ios 14 beta 2 was released on the 9th of july so on the 9th of this month that's when we saw ios 14 beta 2 and usually apple releases beta softwares after every two weeks so as you can see today is the 17th of july and the second week will start on the 20th of july and that will go all the way to the thursday which is the 23rd of july so ios 14 beta 3 is expected somewhere between the 20th to the 23rd of july 2020 now in terms of build number and update size if we go into the settings here and then go to the about section for this software update i'm actually on ios 14 beta 2 so this is the build number that i have on my iphone 6s i have 18a5319i now this build number has an i at the end now this i is better than what we had on beta 1 on beta 1 we had a v and as you can see it was quite a big step forward but however when it comes to stability i is usually very low on the scale and when we start to see letters like a b or c that's when the stability of that beta version is deemed to be a bit secure and if you scroll down a little bit to see the about section where we have the modem firmware you can see that the modem firmware that i have here on my iphone 6s is 7.70.00 now this was updated from ios 13.5 and so most of the issues that i had to do with uh, cell wi-fi bluetooth and airdrop and any form of wireless connection we're actually fixed with this update so when it comes to ios 14 beta 3 we do expect to see a better and more stable software version however when it comes to modern firmware there's less chances that that is going to be updated if you're going to be updating to ios 14 beta 3 when it comes out next week and you are coming from a normal version which is not a beta expect your update size to be very big it can be somewhere between 3 gigs to 4 gigs because you are going from a normal version to a beta version however if you are coming from a beta like i am here on beta 2 and i switch over to beta 3 that would mean that the update size for me will come in around 500 to slightly under a gig so just keep that in mind and remember to check your storage that you have available before updating and after updating as there have been issues of ios 14 taking so much system in storage than it's supposed to so check your available storage here and then also go back and check your iphone storage here it will take a while to load but once it has loaded you can always scroll down and see the system storage that has been taken up by ios 14 and sometimes if this goes beyond 10 or 15 gigs then that's abnormal and you can always give feedback to apple with regards to the issues or concerns that you are facing when it comes to this update this is the feedback app and you can use it to give whatever feedback you are facing be it ios mac os watch os or whatever update you are experiencing issues on something else that we do need to keep in mind is that when ios 14 beta 3 comes out it's going to be a beta version and it's not going to be the official version so we expect it to come with quite a number of issues and bugs so i recommend not updating to your device and also if you are going to be updating to the beta version for the first time do back up your device and as it can result in data losses there's quite a number of changes and updates that we expect to come when ios 14 beta 3 is released to developers and to the public and the first one has to do with the update itself so when you update to ios 14 beta 3 make sure you have enough storage because if 
you don't and the system ends up taking up more space than it's initially supposed to your device will restart yes but however upon restarting your device will boot up in ios 13 or be stuck in a boot loop so that's a bug that some people are experiencing they see the system update size that it says perhaps it's two gig and they have about three gigs of free storage in their device and then once they update they find that their device restarts on the previous version that they had without updating to ios 14 so just keep that in mind when you're updating to ios 14 beta 3 and also the next thing that many people are experiencing with ios 14 beta 2 is the thermal issues and battery condition of their devices so for me on my iphone 6s my device hasn't been heating up it's actually been operating quite normal when it comes to temperature wise so that's an issue that some devices are facing and when ios 14 beta 3 comes out we expect that to be addressed and some of the known issues that are actually on the apple developer forums are some callers are having issues when it comes to this new core ui you know now instead of the core screen taking up the whole screen when you receive a call it takes up a small section and some users are saying that they are unable to use or receive calls because of that ui so that's a known issue that we expect to be fixed now this hey siri app if you use hearing aids or use some sort of settings in accessibility when it comes to hearing sometimes when you trigger siri it won't be able to be triggered and this is a known bug that is affecting some users and we expect it to be addressed on ios 14 beta 3. when it comes to safari some users are experiencing low latency when it comes to overall usage in safari and so that is an issue that is known to be affecting quite different devices it ranges all the way from the 6s to all the way to the iphone 11 pro max but for me as you can see on my iphone 6s i don't have low latency and safari is working like it's supposed to but if you are experiencing such issues and ios 14 beta 3 is released this is a known issue that we expect to be fixed when the update initially comes out now another known issue that we expect to be fixed if you access your app library here and then you go on to trigger siri using the voice command sometimes siri doesn't work and this is another bug that is there on beta 2 for some devices and sometimes siri takes forever to reply and when you update to ios 14 beta 3 this is another known bug that is there on the developer beta forum and apple is aware of it and they should be fixing it with ios 14 beta 3 update something else that we expect to be fixed when ios 14 beta 3 is released is maps now maps works okay for me so far now some users after updating are actually experiencing that their favorites or recently visited locations are not being carried over upon updating to beta 2 and so when ios 14 beta 3 is released and you update that is a known issue and it's expected to be fixed with that update if you are a person who uses the measure app this is the measure app that we have here now if you use that measure app on certain ipad models that measure app is known to be experiencing some issues on certain ipads so if you are experiencing such issues or bugs when it comes to the measure app up after updating to beta 2 that is something that ios 14 beta 3 will look forward to fixing after updating to beta 2 some users are reporting that you know when you go to the control center here you notice that this screen recording will toggle will be on or red and sometimes it will indicate like the microphone is being used even though you're not using a screen recording or microphone so that is a known bug that is came with beta 2 and is expected to be fixed with ios 14 beta 3 and also if you use uh, widgets a lot you notice that some widgets will have access to your location and this is a known bug that is affecting affecting some users whereby widgets get access to certain privileges in locations irregardless of you not having granted those uh, location permissions so that is another known bug that came with this update now if you go into settings and then you go to privacy here there's a portion that says tracking now this portion will basically allow you to see what 
tracks you and what's collecting information on you but some users upon updating to ios 14 beta 2 are saying that this tracking section is no longer there so if you don't see that tracking section that it means that it's a bug that came with the update on beta 2 and it's something that beta 3 can easily fix and apple is aware of that now when it comes to performance for me on my iphone 6s here i actually haven't had so many glitches on beta 2 unlike beta 1 so if we go into settings and go to the battery section you can see that my battery health has remained at 80 percent it was always on 80 percent before updating to beta 2 and so i don't expect a big change when it comes to my battery health on beta 3 and if we go to my screen on time that i have at the moment with ios 14 if we look at perhaps this day you can see that i had about 15 hours 45 minutes screen on time with two two minutes screen off time and that is basically using around 150 percent of this device so that's the screen on time that i'm getting when it comes to ios 14 beta 2 on the iphone 6s if you have a bigger phone with a bigger battery of course your screen on time is going to be uh, better on beta 2 and also we expect it to be better when ios 14 beta 3 comes out now when it comes to performance i did run geekbench scores on ios 14 14 beta 2 that I'm running here on my iPhone 6s and I'm using Geekbench 5 and let's just look at the scores that I had on beta 2 so if we look at my CPU performance you can see that for single core the score that I have on iOS 14 beta 2 for single core is 551 and for multi core it's 1038 and then if we go back to the GPU or compute performance you can see that the score that I have on beta 2 is 2585 and yeah that's the scores that I have here on my device it's quite among average if you look at the history that i've been having and so when it comes to performance on beta 2 i haven't been experiencing so many issues or bugs but this is something that i expect also to uh, get a better score as you can see this update has an eye at the end and it comes with quite a number of bugs and issues when it comes to uh, the beta version beta 2 so this is something that we expect beta 3 to fix and i expect a little bit of better performance not by much though as you can see my device isn't doing too bad so for the iphone 6s if you are going from beta 2 to beta 3 don't expect too much but if you are on a device that has been experiencing so many known issues that are going to be addressed from this video that i've mentioned then your performance will shoot up and you'll see a big and drastic improvement so that's just something small that i thought i should share with you when it comes to ios 14 beta 3 the expected update if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and i will definitely see you very soon peace